right stone surfacing for your home. Doesn't have to be difficult. Hi, my name is Chase Erso. Um, I'm the general manager for Marble the World Florida, and welcome to our brand new Pompano facility. We specialize in high-end natural stone and surface products. So we source around the world to find only the best quality products for mainly residential, but also commercial projects. Get ready to dig deep into the world of stone surfaces as we go beyond the basics on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. The world of natural stone surfacing can be a very vast subject, which is why it's often so difficult to choose the right one for your home. They're also so beautiful. Today, we'll take an in-depth look at the step-by-step -step process of how stone slabs are created, why you should bring all of your design samples when picking a stone slab, how unique veining patterns can work as art for the home, and so much more. So we're here today in Pompano Beach at Marble of the World, joined by the general manager, Chase Urso. Chase, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Welcome, Elena. Well, I'm excited to kind of dive into the world of natural stone and more, and there's so much to see here. I mean, when you first walk in, there's beautiful backlit stone and book match stone and gorgeous installations and gorgeous stone everywhere. Yeah, so. we, we really try to make our entryway speak to the consumer and all the different uh, things we can offer. I think this is a good time to sort of give the backstory of sort of where all of these beautiful slabs of stone that we're seeing here and just about anywhere in the home, where they start out. So we actually import from 35 countries around the world all of our natural stone. They come from mountains, so they're actually cut from what's called a quarry, and then they're carefully selected based on selection of look, color, uh, movement. This quartzite, for example, this comes from one mountain in Brazil. There's nowhere else in the world you can get it. And Unique yeah. to that. And that makes it special. How long is the process? Right, that's a great question. So obviously it comes from the mountain into the blocks. It actually has to be land transported uh, to factories where the processing takes place. Now it's getting cut and processed into the slab material or maybe tile material um, that we use. So that takes about two months on average, depending on where it's coming from, shipping, ETAs, things like that. That's really interesting. And after the stone is you know, cut into slabs. Sometimes it's not just one particular type, and you've got some great samples here, I think, yeah. to help our viewers understand all the possibilities. Yeah, I prepared kind of a smorgasbord of samples here. So uh, we have some marbles, uh, different thicknesses, um, quartzites as well, um, different finishes. So you can see here, you know, we have polished versus a rough finish uh, for various applications. It looks um, like you've got some texture over there. Yeah, That's absolutely. Really cool. We have some textured samples as well, just giving kind of the different options when it comes to natural stone that are on the table. Um, here you can see a nice linen finish. Um, this is kind of a deeper, we call a dig cut finish that shows, you can see that on the cross section there, how deep really that cut cool. is. And those yeah. would be great for a wall application exactly, where the others exactly. could be surface. Right, flat so surface. adding texture to the wall is very popular right now. Um, you know, it adds to the room. It also, it also uh, can add to the lighting aspects of Absolutely. the room. Absolutely, well. could really enhance that sort of three dimensional look by simply lighting it well. Yes. We all want to add that special touch to our homes. And of course, it's beyond just special, it's also beautiful. And we are going to check out all of the great stone slabs that you have in the yard when we come back. Coming up next, learn why true lighting is important when selecting your stone slab colors. I'm Tack Renato with FHIA, and choosing the right window this hurricane season is important, but making sure it's installed properly is really important. We're going to show you things to identify to make sure your installation goes perfectly on today's SoFlo Home Project. wonderful thing about Gulfstream Park Village is that it's conveniently located on the Miami-Dade Broward Line at Hallandell Beach Boulevard and US-1. All of their home stores are conveniently located within walking distance of each other and today I'm after bedrooms. 
Well, SoFlo Home Project and Gulfstream Park Village want to help with our Home Sweet Home Stores at Gulfstream Village gift card giveaway. The prize is $5,000 in gift cards from the 10 home stores here at Gulfstream Park Village. Stay there to learn how to get in on the fun. And like I said, I'm after bedrooms, and this is the Gallery. So Marion, I'm so excited to see what you have here at the Gallery for the bedroom, you know, refreshing the home for the summer. It's always nice to start with the bedroom and this is gorgeous. Yes, this is our popular bed. It is the Gen Bed in white. You have the option of getting it in various colors. And because it is spring going into summer, we just keep the bed in white. I love how you have all the textures. You've sort of layered so many different textures, but it all in the same Works color looks together. so luxe. Now, what is a bedroom without, of course, the nightstand? The nightstand. What collection is this? This is Isla. Isla is the newest one that came in, and so far it's had a lot of great response. A lot of people love how simple and refined it is. And what you're not seeing is it also comes with a six drawer dresser. You've got everything here. And, and this is that perfect pop of color if you want that all yeah, white, really all white. creamy bedroom. Yeah. And you need that little pop. Yeah, everybody loves a pop of color, especially in Florida. They want to be kind of cool, but sometimes you just want the, just a little touch. Absolutely. And now we've got another bedroom to check out. Absolutely. So let's go on and uh, see that. So Marian, this bedding, what a completely different look, but equally beautiful. I love this. What collection is this? This is Tigress, which is absolutely new for spring. It actually also comes in blush as well. Nice, so lots of opportunities to bring in color mm -hmm. or stay neutral. Exactly. And this bed is beautiful with the nail head detailing and the diamond tufting. Which one is this? This is the Roberto bed. Just like all of our beds in the store, you do have the option of changing the fabric color when available. What I love about Zeke Gallery is I feel like you could always, if it's a certain color like this, that ties in a lot of your accessories carry through to all the types of collections. So it's so nice if you're going for that certain color, you could find exactly. more than just the bedding, but the other things for the room. Very true. We always tell our customers to have fun with texture. It doesn't have to go. You can mix and match and just have fun with it. Marion, well, thank you so much for sharing with us some of the most beautiful things here at Z Gallery, all the new stuff. Always a great place for that inspiration. Thank you. Now to register to win $5,000 in gift cards from the 10 home stores at Gulfstream Park Village, go to local10.com forward slash contest and enter the home sweet home stores at Gulfstream Park Village gift card giveaway from SoFlo Home Project and Gulfstream Park Village. So register now at local10.com forward slash contest. Next week, I'll visit the Container Store, a fabulous and functional home store here at Gulfstream Park Village. 10 home stores, one address. And we only have one week left of our contest, so get your entries in and good luck. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. And we are here at Marvel of the World in Pompano, joined by Chase Urso, the general manager. And this is part one of two episodes we're gonna have for you all. There is so much to cover when it comes to picking stone that we wanna take all the guesswork out of it. And Chase, we wanna take the guesswork out of picking a slab. Because if you've never done it before, I feel like it's nice to share with our viewers the process of how it works. Absolutely, I think first steps when selecting slab material would be um, the maintenance requirements the, in regards to what type of material you're looking for. So you're going to narrow it down, exactly. like is it for a kitchen that might yes, need exactly. to be so a less porous surface? Yes, exactly. So application is going to point you in the right direction. So if it's a kitchen, you're going to be cooking a lot, you know, a big family, a lot of use. You're going to want to probably lean towards something a little more durable, maybe like a granite, a quartzite, or maybe a man-made quartz. Um, things like that. Uh, also color obviously and look uh, feeds a lot into the design aspect so um, that also is a big uh, part of selecting material. And also if you were thinking about maybe a decorative wall cladding, Absolutely. you might be looking for book match. Which exactly. Is right here behind us. Yeah so a book match is when they're cutting the slabs out of the larger block 
Instead of polishing the front of each slab, they polish every other front, if you will. And you get the effect that you see here where it opens up and repeats itself, kind of like a mirror image. That's why they call it a book match, because they Absolutely. open the slabs like a book. Yeah. And I think this is an, an opportunity to share with the viewers one more thing, that if you are shopping for stone, you should have your measurements handy, because you may want to know how many slabs it might need, and then some of those things come into play. Absolutely. To the point of the book match, the veining will actually could add to the amount of slabs you need or it reduce it cutting? exactly because of the waste involved when uh, you know designing that countertop well those are really great things and we've got a lot more tips to share with the viewers we're going to talk about why lighting is so important when picking the right slab first let's see what Tac Granada from FHIA has for us today I just finished filming a segment for hurricane preparedness and the person that I was speaking with asked me a great question. They said, if you're the consumer, if you're the homeowner, what's the most important part when looking to do this project? What is the thing that's number one priority that you have to get right? And we've talked a lot throughout the years about different types of hurricane windows, different glass options, different frames. All those are pretty important. But when put on the spot and asked the question, my answer was the installation. Now for the consumer and the homeowner, how do we identify the contractor that will provide us the absolute best installation? Because when the hurricane's coming and we made this investment in protecting our home and our family, the windows are going to be pretty important. But what's really going to matter most is the team of installation crews that were conscientious enough and cared enough to make sure the absolute best job was done to ensure your family's safety. So when looking to do this project, again, there's going to be so many decisions you're going to have to make. But the most important part is going to be who's going to be responsible for making sure this installation is done perfectly. So make that decision and make sure with your confidence knowing that the contractor you choose has the best certified, factory trained, conscientious crews that really care about doing a great job. I recently stopped by an installation and I was amazed at the additional work that was required to ensure the safety for the family. A lot of times when we remove a window that had never been removed from the home in sometimes over 30 years, and a lot of times homes weren't built for really strong hurricane windows, they were just built for single pane regular windows, a lot of additional work has to be made to ensure that the whole opening is as secure as the window we're putting in. So really make sure you're choosing the best product and also put a lot of thought into who's most capable of doing a great job and a great installation for you and your family. It's gonna be really critical when a hurricane comes that that's done correctly. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So Chase, one other thing I think that's great to address for viewers is in natural stone, you're buying it in uh, something that came from maybe one quarry. So you're gonna buy from that block of stone. There might be a different right. lot of the same type of stone. Yes. So the color and specifics you're picking. So it's very, it's important to really know how many you need because you may not be able to get the exact color exactly. at a later date, right? Right. So as we bring in the same type of stone, um, it will always change block to block. Because it's natural. Exactly. It's so as they dig into the mountain, it always changes. So knowing how many slabs you need up front will allow you to select from a lot or a block that has the amount of slabs with that consistency throughout. And of course, lighting is one of the most important things when it comes to getting the colors right. Yes, we take extra care to have color correct lighting, but when selecting that uh, natural stone, you really want to have maybe your cabinet color with you, maybe a paint swatch, even a floor swatch with you to compare in the same lighting as the stone that's being selected. So with the true lighting, when you're seeing the slabs, that is the actual true color exactly. of the stone you're viewing. Exactly. That is a great advice there. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, what to look for when selecting stone slabs for your home. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are here at Marvel of the World in Pompano Beach slab shopping today giving you all the tips on selecting the right stone surfaces for your home joined by chase or so the general manager and here we got our sample cart which i think when you're shopping for the perfect stone slab or slabs for your home you got to have the sample 
Absolutely. I definitely recommend bringing in cabinet colors. And, and probably the floor sometimes Absolutely. too, if you want to, especially if your floor is a natural stone or a porcelain and yes. you've got to bring in other stone look or stone actual stone tonalities. Exactly. So this is a leathered finish, finish uh, a little bit of a lighter leathered finish. So it's going to give that matte effect and not that polished reflective um, effect. Having your samples is so important because perhaps you are pairing it with a glossy cabinet. Exactly. So you could really, you know, kind of get that feel. Exactly. And we're seeing a lot of people moving to the matte finishes um, rather yes. than just the traditional polished right now. Now we've got some more. So yeah. we're going to continue down the aisles. This is one of my favorite stones and I am using a ton of this in designs. People love it. It's a great color. So this is Taj Mahal Quartzite. One of the most popular stones right now, uh, for, especially for kitchens. It's extremely neutral in color, so it kind of goes with many, many different options. And what's so interesting, and, and why, again, so important to bring the samples, like you could really see, say you were doing this beautiful wood porcelain, you know, trying to see if the tonalities of this slab exactly. bring out the tones in your floor. Yeah, we have this, uh, what we call caressed finish, which is unique. Uh, really to it's us, gorgeous. we've specially requested this finish to be done on this material. What I love about this, Chase, it's like you really like, like feel the veining and it has so much depth. It really brings out the texture of the stone. And what makes leather finish so unique in natural stone specifically is a quartzite like this, for example, is going to have many different variations of minerals. And some are softer, some are harder. So, so that's when you, where the streaks kind exactly. of a different depth. So the harder stones will kind of protrude, whereas the softer will get ground down, and it really shows the stone. Now, I think maybe a good time to bring in a couple of uh, stone care tips. So we had mentioned quartzites, and you know we're picking durable options for things like a kitchen, a quartzite, a granite, harder stones. Right. So there's so many options. You know, when you're dealing with a kitchen, especially that's going to see a lot of use, I would say quartzites in natural stone and also granites are a great option because they're just so hard and durable. It's very difficult to damage them or, for example, they don't stain. They're not porous, so they're not going to absorb, you know, wine, things like that. And now even though those are harder stones that aren't as porous, all natural stones should be sealed. Yes, that is correct. We recommend that all natural stones are sealed. It's just going to, you know, extend the life of that material. The great thing about natural stone is that it can be refinished at any point and brought back to new. That is a really great thing because I think a lot of the times people may be hesitant about certain natural stones, but knowing yes. that you could refinish it and restore it to its true. beauty, if something were to happen down the road, that's a great thing to think about because it is an investment, but that allows you to protect it. Next on SoFlo Home Project, learn how to enhance your decor with rare and semi-precious stones. SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're here at Marvel of the World in Pompano Beach joined by Chase Urso, the general manager. Chase, we have been talking all day about picking a slab, the process of the things to look for, all the different finishes, uh, sharing a little bit of vocabulary when it comes yep. to natural stone. And now is my favorite part, semi-precious stone and slabs. Absolutely. So we have a pretty large selection of very rare and semi-precious stones here. And there's really a lot of colors, like for example this one, which you can achieve very rarely in nature. Because uh, blue and natural stone is one blue? of those colors. You, you, there's yeah. not as, as many as, say, it's more true. beiges and browns and grays. Blue is actually the rarest naturally occurring color. Um, and the same applies to stone. This is called sodalite. Um, and it is a type of semi-precious stone. What's unique about this piece particularly is that it, the entire slab is perfectly natural. Um, some of the other semi-precious, which we're gonna see, are uh, semi-precious pieces that are placed together to create the slab because they just don't form that large in nature. I'm excited to share with our viewers what those look like, so we're gonna move on along. Chase, so this is like the Good stuff. These are the most beautiful slabs. 
So all semi-precious. Yes. So here we have three different selections of the semi-precious stones that we carry. These are the composed semi-precious. We have our blue agate here. Love the agate. We have our uh, smoky quartz here. And then we have our black petrified wood here. So in the petrified wood, we've even got the fossils in yes. here. Yes. So what's nice about this type of semi-precious is it's very customizable. This has the silver leaf between each piece, um, and that can be changed to gold. So you could cut, really customize that to highlight yes. your interiors. Exactly. Wow. Now, these particular stones, some of them can be backlit, and we're not going to give it all away just yet because next week you're going to have to tune in because we're going to be talking about all of the design possibilities with them, but that really takes this to another level when you can light it. Yes, it adds a whole nother level. Not only can you have the option of having the light with or without the light, but it really brings out the, the interior aspects of the stone. You can really see into the stone almost. So today, Chase, we shared with our viewers a lot of great tips on selecting stone. But there's so much more. And next week, join us for part two, because we're going to be looking at all of the design possibilities with natural stone and more. And you don't want to miss it. So Chase, thank you. Thank you. And now let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he has going on tomorrow. Hunter, what's up? Hey there, Elena. It's finally time for SoFlo Health to return next week, June 13th. We'll see you right here on Local 10. But of course, I've been spending some time at the JW Marriott Miami Turnberry Resort and Spa, just getting my golf on. Title Cove is here. We'll see all that and more coming up on SoFlo Health, but next week. Thanks, Hunter. And to our viewers at home, thanks for joining us this week. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram.